So I've had a few videos on camera equipment, but I figured I'd switch it up a bit. Um, for those of you who don't know, all of this stuff has come from uh, a gentleman who passed away. Uh, and his wife was being put in a home because she could no longer care for herself. So a friend and I uh, were basically hired to clean out this house. Um, the furniture got uh, sold to a store who would then resell it, obviously. Um, and of course the little knickknacks and trinkets and stuff... Um, uh, stuff stuff that had memory to it was, was given to the owner of the house. Um, but everything else was given to me and my friend uh, as payment. He basically, he paid a, a few dollars for gas. Not really enough to cover our gas, but in, enough. Uh, and then he gave us all this stuff to do with as we pleased. So... We've had a few videos on the cameras, and uh, they're worth quite a bit, apparently. But I figured I'd delve into a box full of his other passion, which was um, architecture, engineering. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, as with all the rest of these videos, I haven't looked through this box. Um, I've, I have scanned the top, so I know generally what's in it. That's how I know it's... It's all architecture, pencils, pens, and this particular box. There is one pencil that I'm looking for specifically. It's this guy right here, I think. Nope. I'll, uh, if I do come across one, I'll point it out to you. got half precision special is that German I think that's German PS9 I think I know what this is I have a smaller one of these inside already yep it's a full I shouldn't say full because I don't know how full it is but a compass set the one I already have inside includes uh, this guy, um, this guy, this guy, and a few of these accessories. It's about this big, like a school-sized one. But that's awesome. I gotta go through and figure out what these do. Oh, you're a electric chess set. That's interesting. I like playing chess. I don't do it often enough. Nope. Some more of these clips. I had some of these in another box. Um, probably episode number two. Um... I'm not sure what they are. Maybe they are there for holding drafting paper down to a, to a table. Oh, here's another drafting set. This is, yeah, this is the same one that I have inside. It's a nice little set, though. scale here. I love these. That'll be going in my toolbox. And this guy. I think that this is a um, scaling ruler. I could be wrong because I know that there's some that are a similar design that um, they're just regular rulers. But uh, I think what this is, is it, uh, it allows you 
to draw to scale. Like this would be a 332nd scale. Probably put it in the camera. Uh, half scale. And it just makes everything easier if you're trying to draw something half the size of what it what it is. What is this? Over 1,000 physics formulae. That'll come in handy. We were finding probably 45 to 50 of these things. They're obviously scales, rulers, but other than that, I don't know much more about them. I don't know why they have this thing. Uh, they are marked, if you can see. This one says R6. This one says R2. Um, Oh, sorry, that's a, that's a four. But, uh, yeah, there's so many of these things lying around. I'm just not sure what they are, so I'll have to do a little research there. A little wall wart here. Uh, Panasonic. Something or other. Six and a half volt, 500 milliamp. Put that to the side, see if I can find anything that goes with it. Mouse pad. Now, what is this? I don't want to put this up if I'm not supposed to. Oh, it's just a little keepsake. Uh, what do we got here? Another slide rule. I think it was, yeah, it was the first episode. Um, I had a bunch of these, and I, uh, I figure I'm going to teach myself how to use a slide rule. A broken magnifying glass. Might as well just toss that in the garbage. I think that's aluminum, but it's still good for measuring stuff. And then we got a uh, protractor and one of these guys, just for drawing different shapes. Invisible tape. Doesn't look very invisible to me. My neighbor just started driving a bus, a uh, school bus. So that's what you're hearing in the background there. Yeah, it's not very invisible. It might go more invisible once you lay it down on something. calculator. This one might as well be garbage. I have so many of these and uh, they have the uh, solar panel in them. Six volts, 800 milliamp. Sony power adapter for something. Currency exchanger. Still got some power to it, although it looks like that uh, that first the first LCD number there is busted. Uh, brand new wallet, oh. made in Hong Kong, never used. Racers. Uh, 
a thing. I don't know what that is. If any of you, let's see if I can put it. Here we go. If any of you know what that is, let me know. Maybe I'll find something like the other half of it around here. Pencil leads. A battery pack. I think. Yeah, this is for the uh, the camera, the Canon camera that I I showed in uh, episode one. So that'll be going inside. Staple remover. Tape, more tape. Ugh. Another slide ruler. Sticky notes. Sticky notes. Reinforcement grommets for hole punched paper. Oh. Sony power adapter, four and a half volts, 500 milliamp. Sticky notes. Now this thing I've been working my way down to. What are you? Oh, you're a pencil sharpener. Some erasers. What the hell is this? Oh, this is a oh, pencil sharpener. Made fully out of brass. In its own case. DUX from Germany. Interesting. Some pencil leads. I already have one of these inside that's made out of plastic. And nope, this is not what I thought it was going to be. It is a pencil sharpener, just not the style I expected. Interesting. Does it say anything on the box? True point. After 40 years of pencil lead on there, it's it's a little hard to read. Some more pens. Another slide ruler. Random assortment of whole things, whole gauges, I guess you'd call them. What do they call them here? Circle template. And uh, uh, for drawing different arcs and stuff, here's another circle template. And hole punch. And that's it. It looks like there's just a bit of garbage left in here. What is this guy? We got a fancy looking uh, cufflink. So that's it for number four. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, description. And you guys have yourselves a good day.